When squadron leader Mike Kitching from 99 Squadron heard a track on a CD produced by a friend's son, he decided to email his friend to tell him that he liked it. Little did he know that the song Tin Man had greater military connections than he might have expected. The song was in fact written by Nathan Benedict, the son of an ex-serviceman, and dealt with issues including PTSD and depression. Joe Tunis has been finding out more. Another tin man walking the street The brain in his head and the soul is in his feet didn't know what the song was about. Uh, song Ting Man was the first one that came up. Um, and then later that day, I decided to well, have a look into the song because the, the, the name Tin Man sort of resonated something in my brain to maybe think about what that, what that meant. Uh, so I found the video on YouTube. Yeah, it was quite an emotional video for me to watch because it resonated with something my brother's been going through. Nathan explains how the song was born. So I was street performing in Santa Monica and I observed uh, many people in nice clothes shopping on the promenade. I was curious if life was as good uh, on the inside as it looked on the outside. I, it inspired this idea of a Tin Man, someone that is indeed hollow inside, and um, but looks pretty good on the outside. And when it came to shooting the video for the song, a friend of Nathan's who had struggled with issues since leaving the army proved to be the perfect person to cast. That man was Ricky Reyes, a former US Marine who had served on two deployments to Helmand Province. Uh, I actually remember the first day coming home uh, and not being able to sleep. I remember just staying up and kind of thinking about where I am and what I've been through. And uh, it, was, it was off and on like that for, for a couple of weeks. Part of me was still in Afghanistan and just missing the guys. But uh, trying to explain it to my parents and to my to my friends, you know, I think I kind of gave up explaining it. But being able to share some of those experiences through the music video has had a healing effect for Ricky. First, it was I was kind of apprehensive to kind of be that vulnerable and be that real, but. You know, throughout the years, I've realized that my vulnerability has been the key ingredient to my healing. There was definitely a, a lot of reluctancy for me to kind of share my story. Um, I, I didn't know how I'd, I'd be viewed as, 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 as part of the veteran community or even the, the civilian world. But, you know, once, once Nathan and I kept talking about it, and it I, I just knew that it needed to be shared. Much of it wasn't really much acting. I just kind of had to remember some of the things that I've done before. And so seeing it was, was it was strange, but it was, in a way, it was kind of relieving. And for Mike, it drove home the message that it is OK to reach out for help. I think that uh, the most important thing is realising what's available to you. So you do have, uh, you know, the Padres, um, and they are brilliant. So I'd only recommend highly. They're good, good guys. Uh, they're really funny, and uh, they are open. Their doors are open all day. Um, and they love talking to people. I'm Jay Tunis at RAF Bryce Norton for Forces Radio BFBS. Now the tin man walking the streets We found his heart was teaching to sing